Hi, good morning. Uh, I'm CS Liu, a miser at the UOB KN uh, Securities Central Buhat in Penang. So today I'll be talking about the uh, intrinsic value for structural warrant. So, mm, so let's start of uh, today tutorial. Okay, first of all, I will be bringing, I'll explain what is the intrinsic value. Okay, to know the intrinsic value, we need to know the exercise price. And also, we need to know the exercise ratio. Then, and 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 knowing all these three, then we need the calculation to to understand how it works. Okay, let's start without wasting any time. Let's start my presentations, my tutorial. Okay, first of all, we need to know the exercise price. Okay, as we I will skip about what I will skip. I will briefly explain about what is call and put. Okay, call. Call up means uh, uh, the price is going up. Call means uh, the priority to buy at the lower. So, which means that for structure warrant, call structure warrant, the exercise price, if we want to make money, the exercise price must be lower than the current share price or index price. Let's see about put. Put means that put down is going down and means the priority to sell at higher price. So in simple layman terms, exercise price for put should be higher than the current share price if you want to make money. Okay, what is the exercise ratio? Okay, exercise ratio in structural warrant means the number of warrants need to exchange for one underlying share or index which is like at expiry or maturity. So today I will be talking about put warrant because the uh, IBM KLCI index currently downtrend. And you also be part of it also because of the, on the 22nd of August, I did a, a simple tutorial with some with, with, with my client. So, after all, some, some of the clients still don't understand because it's, at that time we, we were quite rushing about time. So, today I will be, uh, pre present this slide as a, as a additional tutorial so that Hopefully they will they can understand better on the put warrant. Okay, example. So I'm using a, a FBM KLCI HH and HI. Okay. So for HH, the SSI price is one eight hundred and and the ratio is two hundred to one. Means that okay. Then the HI SSI price is one eight eight zero and the ratio is two hundred to one. So both warrants have the same maturity date, which means that uh, on the 30th September, which is very very close. Okay, so what is the intrinsic value? So for HH, we are talking about HH first. So based on uh, 4th September, the index closed at 1589.16, so we use 1589 as a calculation. So it's very simple, the formula is the the SSI price minus the index price will be we are getting a 211. Then 211 divided by the SSI ratio, we will get a 1.055. So we, we make it a decimal point, we have 106. So on on 4th September, the HH cost at 122. So what is the premium you pay for the HH means that you pay extra for the what is the premium means you pay extra means that 122 minus 106 is 16 cents. So you pay extra 16 cents for something worth 106, which means that the intrinsic value for, for HH is 106. Okay, but the closing price is 122, which means you pay higher. Usually, there's a premium where we can't get the discount, discount, uh, called structure warrant. It's impossible. Alright. But for next one, HHI, we will see the discount although it's impossible but let me let me you you just listen first then afterwards you will understand okay so what is the break even price so you want to invest and speculate which means that 122 times 200 means 244 so we reverse the calculation okay we just reverse the calculation so what 244 then 200 minus 244 is 1566 so if if the the HH must for the if you want to break even the index must drop 
until 1566 so that the, the intrinsic value will become 122 if you want to invest at 122. So if, if the index broke below 1566 before 30th September, so potentially you might be getting a return, potentially, alright? So let's say index drop to 1520, then how much you can get back? So the workout would be 1800 minus 1582 is 280. 280 divided by 200 is 140. So the return is about 18 cents per share, so it's about 14.75. Sense. All right, let's see what is the advantage. So, if you calculate from index 1589 to 1520, it's only 4.3% correction. But using structural warrant, it makes a lot of difference, of course, because you get more return. Okay, let's see about HI. So, what is HI worth at 1589? Okay, so the SSI price is 18, 1880. So we sum we calculate everything it should be rounding up is 146 so the closing price is 142 untraded means that no volume at all right so nothing i can say okay it worth 146 plus close at 142 which means that uh nobody want to sell <laughs> so because it's worth because it's worth 146 at the 1589 so i want why want to sell it okay So if on 30, 30th September index goes at 1520, so how much is it worth? So it should be worth 180, alright, based on calculation. So if you can invest at 142, I mean we 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 be using a very simple to make it simple, let's say at 142 on on 30th September, so your return is about 38 cents per share, it's about 26.76%. So, okay, by the difference of the exercise price, 80 points, you get more return than it. So, which one is better, HH or HI? So, actually, the structural warrant have a several variable. So although we know the exercise price and ratio are fixed, so what left will be the supply and demand means that volume and transact. So if more volume transacts means that you have more you have liquidity, it's so it's more easier for us to buy and sell. Okay, still the same. So HI look like a potentially bit higher. The returns is higher, but Lack of volume and HH return less but more volume. So after all, it's pure. It's purely based on our investment purposes. Some is for the hedging purposes and some for the short term fund, meaning that short term trading. And my conclusions and personal opinion: there is no right or wrong. It's purely based based on what you need. Okay. Uh, okay. For completing this slide, I will, I'm making a reference at the www.malaysiawarrants.com.my and okay, actually it's a free website. You can sign up an account at there just using an email. Then there is uh, the, the this website is uh, by a foreign broker, uh, Mercury uh, Investment Bank. So actually it's uh, quite a good website for me. So it got uh, contain a lot of. Uh, information about the structure warrant and I think it's worth for you to sign out a free account there so that you can always get the knowledge from, from that site. As usual, okay, if you have any question you always can WhatsApp me, okay, or call me or email me. Okay. Thanks for watching and I will be talking to you uh, next time. Thanks, bye.